Hello, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another video. It is a good day to have a good day and it is a good day to talk about spring and summer handbags. <laughs> There's so many gorgeous handbags this season and I can't wait to share them all with you. All right, so we're going to start with the obsession, the bag that probably inspired this entire video and it is this Dolce & Gabbana crochet bag. And this bag has such delicate features, but it's one of those that just, it has such an elegance to it. It has such a statement. You could absolutely have a simple outfit and add this bag to it. And it's just, it literally, so many of these bags, Feel like they have their own personality the details in them between the outside handles to the inside interior or just the crocheting the knitting everything that's going on with this bag i love being able to have a very simple look in the summer or have a bag that maybe i can wear with a lot of different things if i'm traveling and i want to streamline if i'm looking to maybe allocate my finances a little bit differently at a certain point in the summer if i'm just looking to have a very streamlined closet at any given time or maybe you're just looking to only invest in one handbag this is one of those that would be like the top of the top list and it has two straps which i feel like is the extra bonus that has two straps i love the design i feel like you could pair this with jeans and it could just boost an outfit a bit or you could wear it for a fancier look it's just something that just goes with everything i could literally do an entire video on this bag we'll be here forever so obsessed 100 love it number two is the saint laurent fanny floral satin shoulder bag that's a mouthful. This bag screams Featherington to me. And maybe it's because I'm quite obsessed with the second season of Bridgerton and they did such a good job at using such vibrant oranges and vibrant yellows, which is very Featherington as well as within, you know, some of the other households this year. But this bag is just, she's that vibrancy. I know she's not for everybody, but if you've got that Featherington energy, you are just wanting some fun in your life. You're wanting a nice night out bag. It is a fabric based material, but she has like a silky vibe to her. I just feel like this is that bag that's just so fun. Like you probably aren't going to get as much use out of it as maybe our Dolce bag, but it's one of those that you're going to see it. You're going to, it's going to be in your wardrobe and you're going to want to pull it out and it's just going to make you happy every single time you wear it. You know what I mean? The Alia Mina 20 mini leather tote. Y'all, these words today, we're struggling. This bag was one of those first that I just, I don't typically go for a tote. Like that's not my jam because I like to streamline. I like to keep it kind of simple. I know that it's really easy to like throw a bunch of stuff in it. I like to change bags up. And this bag, she's just so cute, so flexible. I feel like it's such a good bag if you're traveling a lot or if you're just somebody who likes a big, simple, easy bag, but wants to invest in something nice, wants to update your wardrobe for spring and summer. This color is beautiful and it just pairs so well with so many things. It would be great with the sundress. It would be great with so many different outfits. I could 100% see myself doing an entire video on styling this bag. She is just one of those that I feel like is such a classic bag, especially if maybe you don't like to venture out for a lot of things or you want to make sure that you're getting a lot of use out of whatever bag you're investing in. The Alia. She's it. Number four is from Valentino. Now this bag has been selling out and it's actually quite limited in where you can get your hands on it because it comes in a bunch of different sizes. So I will link down below the specific one I love because I've done some searches for it and with the generic searching of it, it can be hard to find it in the right size. It's kind of like if you're searching for Louboutins, but there's not always the same material or the same details. Like you have to be really specific when you're looking to search and Google for it. Otherwise you'll find the wrong size and you'll get a bag that you didn't think you actually wanted. But I love this bag and I don't typically love the Valentino Rockstug kind of thing. For me, it just, it feels like something that I'm absolutely going to be over within a few months. It's very rare that I want something like that in my wardrobe consistently. I tend to go for a chic classic staples, stuff that I'm going to love, stuff that I feel like is a true investment for me. But this bag, I just, she is kind of that like, the one that I would grab for all of the outfits, especially on the days where maybe I need a last minute look or I'm just wanting to kind of get out the door. I have a lot of those bags. <laughs> I have a few of those bags already and we'll talk about one of them in a minute because I've found an updated version for today's video. But this is one of those, that it's just kind of that, like it's the quintessential summer bag. If you're somebody who's quite casual with your looks, you would get tons of use out of it. If you're somebody who likes last minute look, you would get tons of use out of it. If it doesn't really matter what your style is or how much effort you put into it, this would elevate any look because it's that simple, it's that chic and it goes with everything. 
All right, our next bag is from Tory Burch, and it has been quite a while since I've gone with Tory. I'm one of those people who tends to be very mindful about shopping with any kind of brand that really over labels it or just makes me feel like it's just a lot to see the label. Like you'll see some bags in this video today that are going to have that kind of bigger border label, but they're a bit more muted. And I've really kind of fallen out of the Tory bubble in the last few years. I went hard for it in college. I was one of those sorority girls that had all the Tory flats. I had the rain boots. I had all the things. But this bag just gave me that like hand painted Dolce vibes from a few years ago. So it's so pretty. It's not the biggest bag. It's also not the smallest bag, but it's one of those that's just really, really beautiful and really adds a bit of elegance without being too much. It's not so on the edgier or the rocker side, but it's not on the too simple side of things. It's one of those that just it's fun. It really kind of ties in the spring and summer season. It's got that like intricacy. You want to look at it a bit longer because the flowers are there and it's just so pretty. It's also a special edition and it is under $700, which is great for a luxury video. Next bag is from Bottega and I have a couple of Bottega bags in today's video, but this one I pulled you guys on Instagram about. When I was prepping this video, I was also looking up bags that were under $200. I was hoping to do kind of a designer inspired and I ended up going with a blog post that I will link down below that are bags under $200 that are designer inspired, but they aren't dupes because a lot of the ones I found were just atrocious, like trying to be a designer bag, but not doing it any justice and really just, no, I, I could not, I could not get behind it. There might be somebody who would enjoy it, but this bag, I kept staring at it. And I think I ended up in the space of, I like it. I don't know how I feel about it. It's not the first one that I would purchase, but it's also something I feel like is really unique and really fun. And a lot of you guys like it. So let me know in the comments below what you think about it, because it was one of those, I put it on stories and I asked you because I was like, I have been staring at this bag for hours and I truly don't know. But I think one of the biggest things about Bottega, especially in the last five years, maybe more, is that they've done such a beautiful job at really curating pieces and picking pieces that A, are very often duplicated by other brands or other like knockoff sellers. They have, but because of that, because they have such simple pieces, you get tons and tons and tons and tons of use out of them. And they're also paving the way for it. The Bottega sandals, those came in the square tote and they made that a thing between them and influencers and whoever else you want to credit. The pouch bags that everybody initially was like, mm, not going to go there. Hands down, one of my most used bags. So I love Bottega for all of the progression that they've given to fashion, but at the same time, this bag is just fun. This color is so unique. There's another yellow bag in this video that you'll see, but I feel like yellow can be really hard to nail and getting like a good quality yellow that isn't too mustardy or isn't like not gonna really give you the essence of spring and summer and they nailed it with this one it is gorgeous it is not the most practical sometimes we have those bags i do love a good non-practical bag but i'm curious to know what you think in the comments below so let me know if you guys love this Bottega bag or if it's a pass for you. We have another Valentino and she is ugh, everything I'm loving about the season. Now I did catch up on a couple people's vlogs from Fashion Week and I know that Chanel did tweet and a few other people have done like tweed and plaid and whatever you want to name it this year. And this feels like the happy medium between kind of the plaid tweed vibe along with the picnic-y vibe of the summer. And it's just it's so colorful. I'm one of those people that I have quite a few simple things in my wardrobe but you guys they're right there. You can see them. My pink shoes. I love a pop of pink. I love a pop of color. These are the things that I reach for when I'm just like, I need to feel good today. I want vibrancy around me. I want to be in colors and energy and high vibes and whatever you want to claim for your life. And this bag, she's it. She's gorgeous. She's on the smaller side. But that is okay because we love her. And sometimes having a smaller purse is great because it means you're forced to clean out your bag regularly and it doesn't become a dumping ground for everything in your life. And we're back to Bottega. So I have used hands down my pouch the most over the last several years. My cream pouch was the one bag that went with me literally around the world in 2019. LA, New York, Paris, it just goes everywhere and it's such a stable bag because it it's a ton of stuff. I'm constantly going through having a camera, not having a camera, having a lot of things, not having a lot of things. And I love that with this bag, especially if you're doing a quick change between purses, it's literally just a dump, a snap, and a go. And this green is so beautiful. She's so vibrant. We're really kind of seeing more neons this year. I feel like this green is having a moment. I've seen it within a few different collections, but it's just so pretty. It's so vibrant. It's so much fun. And if you haven't invested in this bag yet, 
let me tell you, it is 100% worth it. I do have a few luxury inspired ones as well. I will leave those down in the description box below if maybe you like it, but you can't like quite make it happen for yourself right now. I will leave those down below for you, but this is a new season, new color. So you're not gonna find this anywhere else. So if you're really loving it, she's gorgeous. And I feel like this is just one of those really fun colors that you can't go wrong. Our next bag is one of two Saint Laurent Lulu bags. Now I saw this bag scrolling through my tree set and it was one of those that I wasn't really sure but I feel like I don't have a lot of yellow in my collection and it's something that I want to expand on but I think it's one of those that just it gets a lot of wear it's something that you can really use it's a beautiful color but it's probably a bit more on the practical side now some of these bags are actually a bit slimmer than they look so you can size up with them but this one specifically it's one of those it's a little bit smaller it's the mini canvas shoulder bag but it's just again it's such a fun pop of color if you're somebody who really likes to keep it simple maybe you really like patterns i like to be able to balance a pattern with something simple and have it all blend and have it all kind of feel like everything's highlighted not like you're wearing too much but I love a colorful bag. Sometimes I feel like you can really mute down an outfit with just a neutral bag in a way that takes away from the vibrancy and the energy and the just looking like so much fun and bringing so much joy when you don't bring a bag that kind of elevates the look as well. And this bag is kind of perfect for doing all of those things without it being too much. And of course we're going back to neutral. So I saw this and I could it not put it in and maybe it's because it was newer and I just feel like there's always a time and a place for a black and white piece and it's one that you're not ever going to go wrong with it is a chain wallet so it's really this is going to be like a night out bag it's really simple really chic but it's something that especially if you're somebody who likes to travel with minimal things you like to keep minimal things this is one that you could go on a trip take a bigger bag that goes over your shoulders and then take something simple like this and have it for nighttime dinners wherever you're going and it's gonna work with so many different looks it's also so just there's something so elegant about a black white combo it's so pretty it's so perfect it is the delicate handbag that you need and i am obsessed and on to bigger bags to completely be the opposite of our last one i sold this dolce and gamana bag and i I had to pause a minute. Like I was thinking in the back of my head that we needed another bag for this video because I had one that I wasn't quite sure of. And when I saw this bag, I was like, that's it. And like I said, I'm not huge on bags that have tons of logos on them. That tends to be something that I feel like ends up being very distracting for me. I don't always love it. I can be really fussy with patterns, especially with keeping things long-term. If I'm renting it, it's one of the reasons that I love the rental programs for luxury bags and clothing as well. I will leave a link down in the description box below for both of those. But it's one of those bags that I just, it's not too much for me. It is a beautiful pink. You have the logo on it. It's really muted. It's really blended and it would serve you so well. If you're somebody who wants a bigger bag, who likes to have that option for travel. I know that for the last few years, we've really seen the trend of like the Dior tote to the YSL tote. And I feel like this Dolce & Gabbana bag is really in that same vein, but being a bit more muted with its branding, which is perfect. I love it. There's just the simplicity of it makes me need it. And I'm really just obsessed with this pink as we are back to Bottega and I have already seen a lot of designer inspired bags similar to this one because it is such a unique shape again this color this bag isn't going to be for everybody this is going to be one of those if you love it you love it it's great it's a lot of fun it really just adds a bit of vibrancy but if you're a simple gal this probably isn't going to be for you I love that it adds a little bit it's a little bit more functional than our other yellow Bottega bag but it also gives that bit of fun it gives that bit of summer vibe with the weave that really kind of lends itself to the basket vibes that I traditionally feel like I want to pull out with spring and summer looks but it's also it's bright orange she's a lot of fun again a Featherington bag I should probably do an entire video on bags that the Bridgertons Featheringtons all of our lovely friends would wear let me know in the comments below if you want to see that video I will do that video but it's just such a fun pop of color again I love a bright bag when it really fits I love when you can have that that just really pulls the look together and makes you feel like you've actually put in the effort rather than just using the same old handbag that you always use, which isn't an issue. That's totally people's vibes. I'm no longer that human being and that took a lot of work. I used to be that girl. I love this bag. It is so much fun. It is such a fun, vibrant color. And those are the kinds of things that I really want to reach for during this time of the year, especially when it's really hot outside. I just like little things that bring me joy. I want to look cute. I want to feel cute. Even if I am completely sweating my life away because I live in Florida. 
Back Slick is this gorgeous Valentino stud bag. Now, this is one of the few in our collection today that would work year round. And here's the thing of this bag is it's a little bit bigger than it looks. So it's a small bag, but it would still fit quite a few things in it. It doesn't have tons of sections. So you're not losing tons of space within it where it feels like you don't have the option to fit anything within it because it's so divided and it's got a little bit of flexibility because of the leather so it's not going to be like overly stiff now like i said i don't tend to love an excessive amount of the studs on anything just because i find that i'm over that really quickly but with this bag it's so simple it's such a gorgeous color this specific shade tends to be what i reach for as far as the lip color in the fall and winter it really kind of suits that vibe but it works so well for year round and really pairing with lighter pinks and pulling out like the oranges and really just accenting a lot of colors that you might already be naturally wearing. You get so much use out of it, but you'd also get a year round bag out of it as well. And of course we're back to the pink. Now when I was sitting down to do the notes for today's video, this Dolce bag has like its own personality in my mind. She's chic, she's simple, she looks like she's got her put together but she's got some leopard print on the inside. Like she's got some secrets. She has a personality. She can let her hair loose when she wants to. We could go on and on and on about the personalities of all of these handbags. This handbag is very suited towards those moments where you just want to feel like a boss. You want to feel like you have it all together. You want to be in the power suit. You want the cute bag. You want whatever it is that feels like you are centered and grounded. You feel as fantastic as you look. That is this bag for me. She is gorgeous. I love the detailing with the scarf. I love that it is within the chain as well as over the other handle. And it's just the perfect like boss bag. I'm just, I'm obsessed. She has such a personality. I cannot get over it. <sighs> Let me take a moment for my newest obsession. I didn't think that I was going to find another bag in this video that I loved as much as our first Dolce bag. Like that was the bag that inspired this video and was kind of what I thought would be my next bag. But this bag, there's something about this color. I looked it up. It is called Basil, our second Lulu bag in this video, but it's just, it's beautiful. It's unique. It's one of those bags that you're going to love for years because it's such a beautiful, vibrant color, but you're not going to get it again in a few years. It's going to be one of those that you have it and you're so grateful you have it in your collection because you know you couldn't get it again. And it's not going to be as simple as anything else. It is that kind of unique, just I'd say a unicorn bag. She's not a unicorn bag. I know that different people have like their variations on how they feel about unicorn bags, but this bag for me, reminds me of the ocean like of what the beach looks like when it is gorgeous when there's no hurricanes coming in that like sea color that is the peaceful vibes that this bag brings for me i am so obsessed with her if she sells out if you guys sell her out before i can get my hands on her i might cry but that is okay i am obsessed she's gorgeous i hope you love her as much as i do and our last bag, of course, we're going to end on another white bag is from Marnie. And I love the simplicity of this bag. I know it can be very overwhelming to have a lot of designer logos and things. Not everybody's really into that. Sometimes you just want a bag that is super simple, super chic, that doesn't say more than like, I have a nice handbag. Not that you, you might not be into wanting to display labels, but you might like a nice bag. You might like something on that side of luxury and just knowing that you're wearing a luxury handbag and it's elegant it's simple it's probably one of those bags that the moment that i realized it was spring summer season would be one of those that i would grab for first the moment that i realized that i'm going to start dressing for spring and summer i'm like oh i can pull my basket bags out like that is a thing for me and there have been a lot of those over the last few years that have been quite impractical and this one is a gorgeous thick strap so it's gonna double as a crossbody it's gonna be great for pretty much every out that they're going to sell for the next few months and it's just that happy medium of lightness it really adds a bit of airy breathiness to an outfit for the summer and really kind of enhancing the fact that you're dressing for spring and summer so if you're somebody who likes to keep your wardrobe a bit more simple handbags can really take something that maybe you're wearing year round and bring it to the season that you're in and really change that look for you simple tweaks for you can really make the biggest difference and there's just something about this bag she's cute she is the Trunk Soft Mini Raffia Shoulder Bag, and I'm obsessed. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. So let me know in the comments below which bag that you will be buying first or which bag you are dreaming, adding to your Pinterest board, adding to your manifesting board. What are you looking for this season? If you're looking to shop more designer-inspired bags, I will link that blog post down below. But I'm excited for spring and summer bags. I'm so excited. Like, clothes, I'm kind of excited, but guys, it's hot where I live. Like, 
we talked about this on the regular. I'm looking at doing something maybe shorts inspired for those of us that want a bit more chic options. I don't love to wear jeans in the summer. I know I have a terrible time finding jean shorts for myself and I like to be a little bit more chic. So let me know in the comments below if you want the shorts video. We have a lot to chat about in the comments, but I am obsessed with these bags. I love having a purse that just makes me feel put together. That's the last piece that really makes me feel like I've taken a bit of time with my outfit and makes it feel like it is all one for me. So I am obsessed with all of these purses. I hope you love them as much as I do. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more luxury lifestyle travel, all of the good things. And let me know in the comments below what you want to see next. So I love you. It is a good day to have a good day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.